what's going on guys so it's been a while since i've made a video on the red truck or the blue truck really but this video is going to be on the compound turbo system i put on the red truck and <clears throat> what led to everything was i went to go put my billet tappet cover on and through a few couple rookie mistakes so I broke a bolt off in here, getting the uh, the pump gear broke loose. So I got that bolt dug out, and I dropped a screw off in the timing cover. Got that out. Got my billet tappet cover put on, which you can't see it down in there. Oh well, yeah, you can, kind of. And I broke the plastic piece off in the timing uh, the timing pin in the injection pump I broke it off so I had to send it back to industrial injection well during that time I got a little impatient and bored and decided to build a compound kit and what we have is for the manifold charger it's a stainless diesel 63 67 12 HX 35 and then right here i just have an amazon s475 96 132 and how i made it was i used regular i used the exhaust pipe off of my truck for the hot pipe did practice pie pie cuts and all that and got the t6 flange to a three inch pipe i got that off amazon um Got the four inch stainless pipe off of Amazon. Um, it's a five inch exhaust hou uh, housing, but I did a four inch reducer. And I know I'm gonna catch some flack for my screen here, but it is what it is. And this is a three and a half inch cold pipe off Amazon and the boots and the clamps. And Everything I got off was off Amazon, except for this oil feed and the oil drains. Got them off a uh, full send diesel. So this is a dash six line, AN line. And the uh, oil returns are dash 10 for both of them into a dash 12 Y fitting into the block. And so the mods are maxed out 160 pump. It's supposed to be pushing 360 cc's, what the paperwork said. Got head studs uh, from Exotic. Kind of see them in there. And 150 horse injectors from Industrial Injection. Um, got a Air Dog 165 running 62 psi for fuel pressure and this thing's pretty pretty fun i've hit so far i've hit in fourth gear i've hit 50 pounds of boost uh don't have fifth gear right now so i don't know what the total total boost would be but yep one fun service truck pretty nasty i need to kind of wash it but whatever so yeah the the whole goal was originally 500 horsepower and when i sent my injection pump back in i asked them to turn it up a little bit more and they said they couldn't i was like all right and uh because they told me a while back that all i had to do is slide the fuel pipe forward and i'd get some more power well then when I called them and told them to turn it up, they're like, oh, we can't do that anymore. It's already turned up. I was like, all right. And they said, you'll, you'll never get 450 horsepower out of that. I said, okay. So that's why I built the compound kit. So I can get as much out of it as I can. And uh, I got a South Bend dual disc uh, clutch in it, ready for 650 horse and a bigger input shaft. So I still need to do a few more things to it, but uh, getting, it, getting it dialed in, it's pretty fun. Can't wait to see what fifth gear, what kind of power it'll 
put out through all that. But yeah, there it is. I'll give it a little start up. Got the boost, fuel pressure, EGT, another boost gauge that's not hooked up. I need to get a 100 PSI boost gauge and drop pressure gauge. It's pretty clean until you get on it. Then it cleans back up. Like and subscribe button, you know what to do.